Hello and welcome once again to The Old Man Speaks. I'm Joshua. I come to you three times a week for about five minutes. You're going to hear a lot of wind, maybe, blowing through the window here. It's a change of seasons, and we're getting a lot of wind. Well, I don't want to think about anything that has anything to do with our current day realities. This week, I want to think about summer festivals. After all, I didn't get to partake of any this summer. Could you imagine trying to run a major music festival? You do not have the support of the local community. You have no idea how people are going to get to your festival site, and you clearly don't have enough parking. Not only that, you don't have sanitation there, not enough of it anyway. You haven't thought about the logistics it takes to run a festival. You don't even know how many people are going to come because you don't even have a good way to sell tickets. Well, that's the way a lot of the festivals were run at the conclusion of the 60s into the 70s, producing disastrous results. Hard to imagine. The most famous and the mother of bad festivals is, of course, Woodstock. Now, you may say, I know people who were there. I know at least half a dozen people who were there. And I get varying reports, but man, the music was great. The music is always great. Even if you go to a local festival and you don't like an act or two, hang on, within an act or two, you're going to get some amazing music just because there are so many great musicians out there. And at these big festivals, of course, you're going to get great acts. 1969 was, of course, a great summer for great acts. But the place turned into a disaster area. The Red Cross, the National Guard, all sorts of state resources. The highways were closed. What a freaking mess. And at the end, they lost millions of dollars. Troubled festivals seem to always have some kind of problems happening up at the stage. At Woodstock, they had severe grounding problems. And when the water came in, it became very hazardous we're lucky to still have some of the members of the Grateful Dead with us. They nearly electrocuted them. At Altamont, there was a different kind of stage problem. Whoever made the site ready for the performance put no barrier whatsoever between the audience and the stage. The audience could have just rushed the stage and gone right up with the performers on that small stage. The obvious solution to the problem get members of the Hells Angel motorcycle gang to sit on the side of the stage. Well, Altamont turned into a violent mess, and you can see that all in a movie called Give Me Shelter. But it's what followed that really puzzles me, because you think, okay, people noticed Woodstock and they noticed Altamont, now they know what not to do. But it actually got worse over the next couple of years. All the things that I mentioned... Some promoter was ready to do, not having any idea how they would get the basic things done. One such festival was the Celebration of Life in June of 1971, and this was in Louisiana, the absolute worst place for a summer festival. Look that one up. It's incredible. At the end, one drunk Stephen Stills comes out onto the stage. He says, everybody, just go home. The Erie Canal Soda Pop Festival from 1972 is another doozy of a festival. It was in Indiana. They thought maybe 50,000 would attend. 200,000 fans came to the place. A lot of the bands who were supposed to play there took a look at the area and they said, this isn't safe, we're not playing here. It ended up with rioting. They looted the stage and burnt it to the ground at the last day. This was not a good festival. Makes me so happy that I attend Milwaukee Irish Festival every year, which is the most civilized, beautiful festival. It's a fantasy festival. Not only do I go for the great music and the great culture, 
But I go because the festival is so perfectly run. They've thought of everything. And I have just the time of my life every year except this year. Let's hope next year I can go. So until next time, see you. Have a great week.